And then George Barna with his salt and pepper hair and his sweet disposition. And, you know, he's a researcher, so he's kind of steady, never emotional. He just looked at us calmly and said, I beg you, invest the bulk of your resources, your time, your money, and your prayers into children. And I felt that conviction of that sentence in the deepest marrow of my being. I began to weep because I am. I am investing the bulk of my resources, my time, my money, and my prayers into children. But sometimes, if I'm honest, I'm a little embarrassed about that. Because you see, when I release a book for women, adult women, or even teenagers, there's a big marketing budget. There are radio interviews and lots of applause. But when I release a book for my secret keeper girls, there's no money. There's no radio interviews. There's no applause. And I have begun taking my value for my ministry to children from the cues of the church rather than from the one who assigned me my task. Does anybody feel this? Do you feel that sometimes, that, 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 that the budget for children just isn't big enough, the budget for family just isn't big enough, the, the applause for the work that you're doing is just kind of really not there? I mean, please don't tell me that I'm up here spilling my guts today and nobody feels this. If you felt this at any point in the past or you feel it today, would you just stand I want to affirm you today. Not my face. I want you to see dear George Barna. Because he's not going to like this, but there's more salt than pepper in his hair. And he's got more wisdom, more authority than I carry. And he affirms you. But more importantly, I believe that your God affirms you. And I want to pray over you. Would you just bow your heads? And if you're around one of them, would you just reach out and touch them? Encourage them. Father God, I thank you that you have assigned us to the littlest of hearts in your kingdom. And in your name right now, I bless these minds to believe that their calling has significance. I bless their hands to love children especially those who are lacking love. I bless their feet in Jesus' name to go where others really aren't excited to go. And I pray they go with great enthusiasm. And I bless their hearts to be courageous in this call because it matters. In the name of Jesus Christ, everyone said, amen.